hello beautiful family how are you all doing thank you for the super love thank you for the support i just can't thank you enough so my beautiful people today again you know every day i have it for you the update anything that is happening you have to hear it from here that is why progress the analyst is here to give you all the updates back to back so today something happened that really caught our mind and got our attention this is something that we need to pay close attention to because when people are saying it people easily judge and say no nothing of such nothing is happening now you have to listen to the bishop of okigwe mm, the archbishop hear what he said about the happening in Imo state before he cried out about the burning of the houses about the kina kidnap of the people you need to know that is not ordinary but but i just want you to list it to him and follow up all the updates so that whenever we are posting anything about what is happening in Imo state you will know that we are saying nothing posting nothing but the absolutely truth so listen to him and i'll be right back good morning ohanez and Dibo. good morning nigeria i am most reverend Bieron with the windows camera the methodist archbishop of okiwe archdiocese okiwe archdiocese is made up of okiwe diocese uturu diocese yube diocese Noji diocese and the Sukwato diocese. These dioceses constitute Okiwe Ash diocese, and all the environs were extended from Imo to Adia. Now, these Ash diocese have been under the mayhem of uh, bandits in the recent past. The kidnappers have had their sway, bandits have had their sway. Now, militarization of the environment is what we are seeing. Now, I want to sincerely request that our people should be saved. The Yube community is totally deserted. That place has become a ghost town, and Imo state government knows about it. Our community has been deserted for long now, Bomber jets have gone into this community and bombed that place two times. Helicopters are doing much harm than good in all these areas. I mean, the military moved from house to house, burning down houses. I condemn in strong terms the death of any military man in the hands of, of uh, in the, 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 the bad boys in the society. But the military has a strategy which they use in fishing out bad boys in the society. Does it call to burn down every house in the environment before you can fish out uh, bad boys in the society? Our people are in abject, terrible situation right now. I don't know how we are going to describe it. More refugees are coming out more than what happened in the war. Military, the military of Nigeria should take it cautiously. They should not be burning down houses like Boko Haram's have been burning down houses in the north. I don't know whatever is happening. Is it a way of paying back Debo's for what we have not done? This time around, you hear them speak Asa Wota, Asa Wota, Asa Wota, and cars Asa Wota, the houses Asa Wota, the shops Asa Wota, thinking that we don't understand that language, Asa. Put fire, put fire, put fire, put fire. Everywhere, put fire, everywhere, put fire. When you have put fire on all the whole places, people you're supposed to guide and protect, what then is your work? Are you Boko Haram? What are you? We don't know exactly what you are doing for us in this place. The other day, Umulala community was almost sacked. Everything in the community called Umukele, all 19 houses were born. Two aged women were pushed out of their houses and their houses were set ablaze. Where will they go? We have got some more refugees in our hands that we can cope with. Please, Governor Hope was the more famous state. Come and see, come on the spot visit of all these places and know what to do. I know that Imo State is made up of three senatorial zones, three senatorial zones. Uh, and now, 
the South is gone, Occupy Senatorial Zone is gone, and it remains only Oweri Senatorial Zone. Are you governing only Oweri Senatorial Zone? Please, we need intervention immediately. We need intervention immediately. We need, it, need intervention immediately. Our people are dying of hunger. Our people are dying of cold. No houses to stay in. People are running out of their, their ancestral homes. All their farms are being looted. Are we in a war zone? If we are in a war zone, please tell us that we are in a war zone. Oh, I don't know why you are painting what is evil. You are not trying to paint these things. I don't know whether you are political, whether you are people who are helping your community. I don't know. People should rise up and do what they're supposed to do. To rise up. This, this terrible situation has become unbecoming unto our people. Oh, people are dying. Oh, Situations have come from worst, from bad to worst in these areas. Our community, we don't have almost life has been lost. That is, we don't have people living in that place again. In the community, we don't even have people living there again. Now, Umulal, why must you take over Imo states, <coughs> decimating them? Why can't the sons and daughters of these places rise up and tell the government enough is enough? Enough is enough. Enough is enough. And people should not run away from their ancestral homes just like that. We are not alamajiris. Don't convert us alamajiris in this area. This is unbelievable. Do you know that a lot of persons are still doubting this at Bishop, saying that all is well, that he's just trying to flame up all these things, that this is fake news, this is fake information, blah, blah, blah. So when will you believe that things happen? When will you realize that it's not how far but how well? Now, something is happening in Israel where everybody praying, oh, I stand with Israel. I'm in solidarity with Israel. Let's pray for Israel. What about the rest places that things are happening? What about Africa? You've not said you stand with Africa, you stand with Nigeria, things are happening. You've not prayed for your country. You've not prayed for your continent. But when it comes to other people, you are quick to jump out and start praying. Oh, I pray for Israel, but when is your time? Or oh, it's happening in your area, in your destination, in wherever you are, in your country, in your continent, you said nothing of such. Oh my goodness. Just because the foreign media will carry this information, will carry this news, then you believe. The one that happened in your continent or happened in your country, that this uh, quack, 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 social media personnel will want to inform the world, we want to reach maximum audience for people to know that such happened in Africa or in Nigeria, you will be doubting like that, Thomas. What do you really mean? Or what do you really need? This is happening live in Imo State. And this bishop is crying out loud. The burning of houses and so many other things. And you are saying it's fake? Mm. So if something has not happened to you, or you've not come across such, you've not come across such, you will not know that it happens to the next door. Hmm. Oh my goodness, I just pray that God help everyone. So please do wait to share this video, uh, like and subscribe uh, as we create the awareness of all the happening in the Santa Star part of Nigeria and all over the globe. Thank you so much. Thank you for your love, your support and the courage for now. Bye.